In the early summer of 1861, Confederate troops began amassing near Manassas Junction, an important rail hub less than 80 miles from Washington. In July, the Union Army advanced on Manassas in an attempt to seize the rail junction from the Confederates and extend Federal occupation into northern Virginia. Here, the first major battle of the Civil War was fought by men with high spirits, but very little experience. When the battle begins, a majority of both sides' troops are already on the field, so reinforcements will not be a major factor. Both sides must avoid overmaneuvering their amateur armies. While the North has better weaponry, the South has higher quality men. A solid strategy for both armies in this and other battles will be to control key points of the battlefield, isolating pockets of enemy troops, and then overwhelming these pockets with the remaining units. In this battle, these key points will be the bridges and river fords.
sir.
Steve, man.
to my ma and pa. I write to you to tell you the great victory we have won over the invading Yankees near Manassas Junction. I am proud to tell you that my unit was directly in the middle of much fighting. A line of Yankee infantry charged our position in the clearing. It came under heavy fire. The sergeant shouted to the boys as the Yanks came yelling like mad upon us. Don't run from them! I said to myself, I ain't gonna get from no ragged fellas as they be. One of them shot my hoss and I punched him with my bayonet. Another Yank came up yelling, Surrender to the 14th New York! Whereupon a big gunner knocked him over the head with his rammer. The boys are saying that this is all the fighting we'll see for good. I won't mind, you know. I've seen enough. Your son, Billy. A year after the war's first major battle, history...